it's back to school time and that means traffic's going to pick up and frustration may be a little bit high. Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson and this is Springboro here and there. We are here at Springboro Junior High along with Scott Marshall who is the communications coordinator with the district and Scott, we know that we're looking forward to getting back to school, but we also know sometimes we get stuck in some traffic lines. However, the city and the schools have worked together to really alleviate some of those problems. Yes, absolutely. That's something we look at on a yearly basis, um, and it's, it's great working with the city. Um, super collaborative on that, of trying to figure out new ways to um, you know, shave some time off uh, people. Well, we can't wait to get into the building. Uh, we want to start learning, learning, learning. Yes, right? I know. They're all so excited. Everybody yeah. just wants to get here. Uh, so some of the things we've looked at, of course, involve, um, you know, traffic patterns, traffic signals. Uh, we have the um, continuous right turn now at the junior high, which is super helpful. Um, but one of the other things um, that the high school is going to do this year is allow um, five minutes earlier for parents to come in and drop off. Um, this was something we did last year, um, and it really helped reduce uh, the flow of traffic uh, in there. Um, so we wanted to add another five minutes again, just on top of this year with everything else going on um, involving the reopening of school that we felt that this would be um, kind of a good measure to take. So that means at what time will the doors be open? 6.45 now. Okay. The doors will be open for the high school. All right, and we, we ask parents and student drivers to bring your patients as well because we know that there will be still some traffic issues. However, it seems like this new plan and all of the new steps that the city and the schools have taken will really alleviate a lot of those issues. Oh, absolutely. And again, it, it's just continually looking at it, you know, yeah. fine tuning. What can you do better? Um, where can you save time through here? Um, and so there's um, a variety of things uh, that the city and us have uh, gotten together on that uh, we think will really be helpful. Well, let's review those all because right. they are exciting. Yeah, so on State Route 741, all traffic signals will provide at least 45 additional seconds uh, to allow a longer flow from north uh, to the high school in the morning, and the same will be done in the afternoon as well. So that's significant too because several more cars are going to be able to get through during that time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That, that'll make a big difference. Um, there'll be additional turn arrows. Um, there's a dedicated left turn from State Route 73 uh, going westbound to State Route 741. Uh, there will also be a left turn on Mill Street westbound to 741 going south. This is an important one. Uh, also, this is a big one um, for the community and should be pretty popular for a lot of people. Uh, we'll, we've looked at rerouting bus traffic through Heatherwood. Um, so currently, right now, we have about 19 buses that make their way through Heatherwood uh, based on some of the rerouting that our transportation department uh, did. Uh, we've been able to reduce that now for this school year down to about 50% of the number of those buses uh, going through. So it'll be about eight buses now. That's huge. Yeah. That's absolutely huge, yeah. Definitely. So a new larger pork shop, uh, thank you to the city for that term, uh, will allow for a more uh, continuous traffic to enter the high school from both directions, north and south. Uh, we've also, as I said earlier, put in a, um, a continuous right turn lane was put into the junior high. Um, so that'll really help there. People can just turn right in rather than being stopped at the light. Some additional changes. Um, a police officer will no longer be stationed at the uh, Edinburgh intersection by 741. Now that uh, was a real issue in the past, right? Yeah, absolutely. We, we, his safety. Yes, <laughs> safety was, was a yeah. huge thing. The city had said last year that there was about four incidences where safety was a concern during that. Um, so obviously we don't want that. Safety is a huge priority right. um, and it's more important to just, you know, not have that there um, in, with that case regards to safety. So definitely. But we will still have police presence in a cruiser, right? Correct. Um, a police officer will be stationed in a cruiser um, at the intersection of Balcomi and Red Lion. Um, this is going to be to help discourage any cut through traffic uh, to the schools there. So in summary, uh, with these changes and working with the city and uh, the school district on this, you know, we just want to encourage people to use the main routes uh, as far as when they're coming in or exiting the schools. Uh, that would be 73, 741, Red Lion, uh, those kind of things. Um, and also encouraging people that if they can enter the high school from the south as opposed to the north, that would significantly cut down on the number of traffic 
um, coming into the schools. And then I would add, maybe give yourself an extra 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> Get up a little bit earlier just because, you know, it's just much easier to pull into a parking lot where you have some time and you have some space, right? Absolutely. But, you know, understand, I've been there before. Those extra minutes are precious. Oh, I know. Every second counts. That's for sure. But uh, as always, drive safely, follow the speed limit and have a great school year. Thanks so much, Scott, for all the information. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for more information, check out our website, ci.springboro.oh.us. We're looking forward to a great start of the school year, and we'll see you next time.